my name is Marisha and I haven't made a YouTube video in a decade, maybe more. But I'd like to start again and I'd like to talk today about Colourpop. Now obviously you're saying, shouldn't you tell us who you are? Shouldn't you do a bit more of an introduction than that? Yes, I almost certainly should, but I'm not going to. I'm going to dive straight into this um, semi-review of Colourpop Cosmetics and I will post uh, odd bits of biography um, over the coming weeks to kind of let you get to know me a bit better. But today I received a box from Colourpop and I'm in the UK and Colourpop is in the United States and I know a lot of people in Europe worry about buying things from the States at the moment because of you know postage differences and stuff like that but also because you might get charged customs fees and customs fees suck but Colourpop sorts it out for you in advance. I have never been charged a, cu a customs fee by Colourpop um, and as their prices are incredibly reasonable already this makes buying them from the States really great if you're over in Europe. Let's look at what I got. I have got two of their small palettes, Mint To Be and Orange You Glad. I have their Sweet Talk pressed palette, their California Love palette and their Disney Villains Misunderstood palette. Now these were all on an offer, I think because they've just brought out a new collection so I think they were clearing the decks a little bit. Um, so do keep an eye out on their website for good offers and let's get on with taking a look at them. I will start with Mint To Be. Now, this is my third green colour pop palette because I bought two others in my last lot. And let me show you this one. This is Mint To Be. And it will go in my little green collection with their Just My Luck palette, which looks like this. And their Aura and Out, which isn't strictly speaking a green palette, but is kind of on the green end of the colour tones for their kind of aura y trancy palettes that they brought out. Now, let's take a look at what they look like. I'm seeing why everybody else has massive studio lighting for this because as you can see, it is very dark in this room. This is a dark room anyway, it's north facing and the sun doesn't get in during the day um, and the main light's not terribly bright. So I'll work on that, I'll see what I can do. But what I thought I would do was swatch some of these colours for you. And I think the best place to swatch things is on your face. Because how else can you see what they're going to look like otherwise? So let's do some swatches. Oh, look at that. This, as I said, is their Mint To Be palette. And we're just going to swatch it all down. Look at the light catching that, that's lovely. one doesn't show quite as well in the camera but that's a matte we've got by the way we have one two three four mats um one two three oh, four mats two mats with a tiny bit of glitter in it and uh, three shimmers here and the last three colors i'll just put them underneath here one two mm. Loving the way the light catches those shimmers, they go on really nicely. Three. This one didn't go on. This this one is quite a pale one though. This is not going to show up so well. See, there we are. That's one of the matte ones. And I was I have a love affair with green that does not work out well because I don't think it actually suits me terribly well um, as an eyeshadow. I have blue eyes, which you can't tell because it's so dark. Um, and uh, green green's all right on me, but it's not great. But I just love the color of green. And I love these palettes. Let's take a look at the orange one. So this is Orange You Glad from the same set of little mini palettes um, with coloured themes. Here we are, we've got a pressed glitter in the centre of this one. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mattes. 
two shimmers and one press glitter. And let's take a look at this starting at the top and going on the other side here. I'm making a mess of my face. Here's the press glitter. I'm going to put this across here. Let's see. There we are. That's that's nice. Yep. And the rest of the palette. There we go. Here. And here. And here. And here's a darker one. Here. There we go. So we've got the full orange you glad on this side and we've got mint to be on this side and let's see what else we've got i might not put them all on my face because i think probably two palettes on my face is about as much as my face can stand but let's take a look at their disney palettes i i love the packaging on these by the way they're really pretty this this black box is kind of sh with shimmery got a, a kraken and a raven on it and it's kind of shimmery it's lovely here's the actual box itself and then inside let's take a look at these colors this is what we've got here we have one two three four five mattes including a uh, white and we've got mm, i don't know if this is quite a black 101 maybe yes a black and a dark blue um then we have a bunch of shimmers and glitters of varying amounts. Let's take a look. What do you think my favourite colour would be of this? Well, should, we, should, we, should we go along here now? Yeah. Let's take a look at some of those glitters because they catch the light best in this lighting. That is Mongols. This is Diablo. Ooh. Let's take a look at a darker one. This is called Facile. And there you can see that catching that's like a quite a dark green glitter it's, it's greeny gold greeny gold but you definitely you definitely see the green in it once you put it on this is a darker one as well jetsam oh that's got that's got a blue tone to it that you see once you put it up here yeah i think this one is a black glitter well it's not glitter it's a black shimmer i should say get the technical terms right I should probably grab my own mirror um, so that I can see things better because I'm looking at it just in the video at the moment and I can't terribly see things. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm loving that, that Diablo glitter from Misunderstood is really gorgeous. The pressed glitter from Orange, Orange You Glad is really nice. All the oranges are a lovely colour actually. I'm, I do like orange because it's so bright. I'm very into bright colours, which is why Colourpop is so awesome. And let's take a quick look at the other two palettes I got, so that you can just get a feel for their range. This is California Love. And it is a brownie orangey colours. There we go. You can see. We've got some pale mattes, some darks, some a couple pressed glitters. No, one pressed glitter, sorry. Um, a few shimmers, nice range. This would be quite an easy palette to use and I'll try and do a look for you at some point. And the last palette I've got here is called Sweet Talk. Um, and it's got this lovely sort of floral packaging on it. Very sweet looking. And uh, let's take a look. This is more, this is gold, goldy peachy, goldy peachy pinky. Like that. There we go. We've got three press glitters in this one, I think. Or is that two press glitters and one just very shimmery? Anyway, that's what I got today. And I'll try and do some looks with it soon. <laughs> 